Welcome back to my channel, my A1 Day Ones. <laughs> I'm so glad that you guys are here that we are going to be talking about tarot cards what are tarot cards how to use tarot cards and we're going to dive in into the major arcana so without further ado let's get into the video so you know starting this journey that I'm on my spiritual journey I wanted to look up tarot cards and to figure out what tarot cards were how to use them are they good are they bad because you know I thought they were bad but you know I looked up stuff on YouTube and tried to figure out what tarot is basically and I couldn't find too many videos on them breaking down tarot cards and the different meanings of it like what is the major arcana the minor arcana the court cards the cards cups wands you know so as i'm going through my journey and as i'm still and currently learning about the tarot card i thought it would be a great idea to make a video and cut up the different parts well cut up the tarot cards to help people learn and step by step i don't want to say step by step but to help people learn the tarot cards efficiently and better now although you can get books on how to read tarot cards and to learn more about tarot cards and that's currently what i'm doing too i do have a book that helps me guide my way through the tarot cards and as i read it every day or every other day you learn more and more about the cards and it's not like a book it's a book that you can read and go back to and read and go back to like okay i know this means this let me make sure and then once you start getting used to the cards and seeing the cards it's like okay i know what that means but right now this is what it means when you start getting your intuitive message towards you so today we're going to talk about the major arcanas and with the tarot cards some tarot card decks are different so if i'm going to be working with the rider weight deck because that is the universal deck that everybody uses when they're first starting out and most people when they are doing readings personal readings they're going to go back to the rider weight tarot deck tarot deck so just to get a glimpse about tarot cards if you think that you're into tarot cards or you may be interested about tarot cards or something about tarot cards you're attracted to tarot cards get it because nine times out of ten you are attracted to them they attract you and they're calling you they're calling out to you basically so get into learning about tarot get into get read many books look at many videos because me i like to look at videos as well as read books but when you first starting out with the tarot you have and they do have a different meaning in reverse and basically it's the reverse meaning of the original meaning but we'll get into that later so you have 78 cards so you have your minor arcana you have the major arcana and then you have your court card and if you think of a tarot card then just think of the tarot cards as a card deck because back in the days when tarot was first invented tarot cards were our playing cards until the recent well i won't say recent but i want to say into the 1800s when you had kings and queens it's a whole history on tarot cards just you know look at it but when kings and queens came about they banned tarot cards which were known as playing cards and then that's when the gypsies yeah mostly the gypsies the gypsies had had kept tarot as psychic readings to see to do predictions i would say now most people think tarot cards you can see into the future that's not necessarily true 
tarot cards give you guidance to the future because your future can change so it's not oh this is what's going to happen in your future oh i see this in your future because it's no right or wrong to the future you can take one path to lead you to that path that they've seen or you might want to take the other path and it leads you to a whole nother way so the tarot cards are basically for guidance it's not to see into the future or any of that it's basically your guidance and it helps you to connect to the spirit world so like if you want to um talk to one of your ancestors talk to your spirit guides talk to your angels they're able to communicate to you through the cards and some people like that better instead of having your angels or guides come to you physically because they can come to you physically and if you're mentally ready for that and your spirit is ready for that and your spirit guides know that they can manifest themselves in front of you and you can see them they can see you and you won't be freaked out they will but if they feel like you will be freaked out you're not ready for that intense vibration yet they will talk to you through the cards so that's what tarot card readings are used for to help guide you to your destination help guide you to your goals that you're wanting um it also helps you to re and re-insure anything that you may be thinking about but you want to get extra help or extra guidance like yeah i was thinking about that but i didn't know for sure if i should do it so that's what tarot cards can also help with as well we're gonna start off with the major arcana now the major arcana is 22 major arcana cards and with those cards the major arcana is kind of like a fool's journey so when you go through that phase you'll see that you start off with the fool and he goes through a journey and once he reached the 22nd card which is the world card he can see completion and he's mature and as we go through the phases of the cards you will be able to see the journey as well and once you start picking up a book and doing your research and looking at videos on tarot cards you can see the full journey goes and that's what everybody from tarot says and you can see it through tarot is that the fool is going through a journey and you think of that journey as yourself you're going through that journey as well if these cards well when these cards pop up in your reading and you work with them by yourself when you do readings on yourself so i think that's all um the sum up the major arcanas um major arcana cards are basically your guidance your guiding cards they tell you about yourself so when i think of the major arcana cards it's okay take a look at yourself look at yourself in the mirror basically these cards tell you about yourself they tell you the truth about what you're thinking before you're thinking and they probably know that you're thinking it and you just don't want to say it and when you see these cards it's like boom so fix it or boom lovely so now let's get into the cards of the major arcana all right so what you guys been waiting for is going into the major arcana cards so we're good today we're going to do one through five and when i say one through five it's really zero through four because the tarot cards they go off for numerology and you will see that in the beginning it starts with zero and you when you think about tarot cards you think about everything as a whole so you think of astrology you think of numerology you have the colors the lights how vibrant it feels your intuition and your instincts so when you get your cards you see that the fool the fool is the first card of the major arcana now like i said in the beginning you see that the fool goes on a fool's journey and this journey helps him mature 
So when you pull the full card in a reading or just in general, the full card represents someone that is stepping out on anything. He's being fearless. He doesn't, he want to start over, want to start new, want to start fresh. And you can think of the full card as a baby, a newborn baby, somebody that came into this world, somebody that has dreams, ambitions, not scared of anything. You're going to step out onto the world and maybe if you have a new project you're going to step out on that project or maybe if you have love if you pull this card for like a love reading maybe it's a new relationship and it's exciting to you and it's probably a relationship that you never thought of having with somebody that you deemed unattractive before but now that you're maturing and now that you're growing up you thought about hey let's spice it up let's let me attract something new into my life i didn't like men with beards now i want to date a man with beards just to see how it is for an example or you may have a relationship and you know maybe you wanna this is for somebody that want to take their relationship in a new direction want to spice things up you know want to take their relationship in a new direction basically and it can be okay we've been in this dates for two years you know let's just sell everything and travel the world with no doubt and that could be you know that's a fool's journey you're stepping out on faith you're stepping out on fearlessness and you're like let's do this we want to travel anyway we're going to sell the house we're going to sell everything in the house and we're going to use this money to travel and we're going to we're going to have a traveling youtube channel let's see where that take us that's a fool's journey um that's basically what the fool means now if you're doing this for a personal reading or a spiritual reading basically the fool's journey is stepping out there being yourself coming out of your shell it's basically like a caterpillar turning into a butterfly you're doing something new maybe the caterpillar didn't want to turn into a butterfly but you know as time comes along it's like okay you know what i'm actually ready to metamorphose into a butterfly so that's what the full journey means. Now, earlier I said we had reverse cars. And reverse is basically reverse. So if the fool is in reverse, it basically means that you're you're scared. You are not how can I put this? It's not necessarily that you're scared. You're just not trusting your instinct and your fearlessness turn into fear. Like, it's like, okay, well, you're, th you're thinking too much. Like, okay, if we sell the house and we run out of money while we're on traveling, then what? Like, I don't think we should do this. Like, this, this is just not going to work. Or you the partner want to take the relationship to a new level want to go to a new state but the person's like well what if we don't get a job there what if we can't find a job for months where are we going to live you know ooh. that's what the full card in reverse means and basically you can unreverse it by you know saying you know what i'm gonna trust my instincts i'm gonna trust in myself and it's a card that's gonna let you know about that and that card we're going to talk about but it's something that somebody has to be out of their shell and have to feel comfortable with if they don't feel comfortable with it they're going to remain into that shell or if you don't feel comfortable with it you're going to remain into that shell until you have the energy and the guts to say you know what i'm tired of living the way that i live i'm going to step out there i'm going to do what i have to do i'm going to do something new because i want my life to be exciting i want my life to, i want to live and i just can't be in this shell forever so that's what the full card means in reverse now we have the magician card this magician card as you can see is set number one at the top and if you look at these cards as well you can see the colors and that's why i said when you it, it means the cards mean a certain thing but once you in, get into your intuitions and you start looking at the cards like you will feel so much for the cards like 
I'm a Pisces, so I, like I feel a lot, especially when I look at the cards and I just just read it. But the magician card is basically using your powers, using your powers. Like it's telling you that you know what you have and you know the powers that you're capable of and you need to use them and you use them for attraction manifestation intentions like you have the power you know your worth you have the tools to work it and i know i'm i'm going ahead of the reading well i'm going ahead but the reverse of this card basically means that you're not using you're you're holding back your powers you're holding back your instincts you're holding back the things that you know that you're capable of you're holding that back and it's block and you or someone might be blocking your manifestation might be blocking your intentions because you know your worth you know your power but for some reason you're not trusting the tools you're not trusting whatever you have around you for that and it's frustrating I'm not gonna say it's frustrating it can be frustrating or it can be frustrating to you or it may be frustrating to somebody else that's like okay you know that you're capable of this and you don't want to do it why you have the tools you have the power to do it so do it but as I said you have to be the person has to be ready or you have to be ready to do things on your own when you're ready but for a magician in love you can be using your powers to and your tools to love um to love a certain person so like the magician is basically you're manifesting a love life that you love your visualization you're putting your intuitions in the air you want to attract this type of love you want to attract this type of person you want this person to love you this type of way you're attracting this type of lifestyle love lifestyle is what you're attracting in love um for a career it's being creative you're attracting your dream job you are using your mind as creativity you're doing what you want in your career but also using your magic to attract the kind of work environment that you want to be in the kind of work environment that you enjoy or that you know that you should be around for personal readings the magician means that you're using your powers you're using your thoughts you're using your visualization like right here uh when you the magician card is good for this so i'm visualizing my dreams i'm visualizing my goals because i'm looking at it every day i'm writing down my intentions i'm meditating about it i'm praying about it you know that's my tools that i use i work with the moon or somebody can work with earth water and that's what these cards are here for too they have the elements of earth fire water and air so you use what you attract to i'm attracted to water and the moonlight so certain rituals i may use the moonlight to use my pad my magic to enheighten it just like other people may use fire candle magic to heighten their abilities for their rituals that they use that's part of their tools as a magician that they use so that's what the musician card means using your tools and setting intentions setting your manifestation because you know what you're doing and you want what you want and you're gonna get it now we have the high priestess and this is the high priestess i love love the high priestess the high priestess is basically telling you to use your gut feelings that in, that gut feeling that you have use that that intention that you set that feeling that you get that's that's the feeling that's that's that feeling and it's kind of hard to explain but if you have a feeling about this person if you have a feeling about somebody that's not good for you and you just got that feeling like it's something about you that is not good 
but I just can't put my finger on it. That's that feeling that the high priestess gives. And that's something that's instilled in you as well. It's just stored in everybody. And some people can turn it on. Some people can turn it off. I, I want to say Aquarius are really good at that. But um, trusting your instincts. Trusting your gut intuition. Trusting your intuition. Point blank period. Is the power that the high priestess has. And she has the knowledge. She has what you need. But it's up to you to pursue that it's up to you to use that part of your brain that part of your intuition that part of yourself to use that so another example if you use this for if she comes through into your um love your love reading then it's like what you you can be feeling a certain way about your relationship it can be you it can be the um your partner and it's something about them that you may like okay i feel like they're hiding something but i don't know what it is and it's sorry it's like i'm hiding they're hiding something and you don't know what it is this is where communication come in communication is key when it comes to the high priestess because if you're feeling something in your gut if you're feeling something that is very intuitive and you is strong you need to address that as soon as possible you cannot cannot you cannot ignore it and if you ignore it that's when the high priestess will be reversed so if you get a high priestess that's in reverse that's because you're ignoring your gut feeling you're going against what you may feel or somebody that you know that is not good for you you're engaging in that you're giving them your time you're giving them your energy and you're putting your all into that and that's not what that is for like you're simply ignoring your powers that's basically what it is you're simply ignoring it and that is your the high priestess is like if you don't get it together it's gonna plummet down like you may feel like you're in a rough like your life is about to not turn for the worse but your life is about to turn where you may think that it's turning for the worse but it's not because you're ignoring the signs that i have given you you're ignoring your intentions you're ignoring your gut feelings you're ignoring that so since you're ignoring that basically when she's in reverse that's basically her final warning that she's giving you so you're either going to change or you're going to watch stuff unfold that you never wanted to unfold and it's going to set you back and you don't never want to be set back sometimes setbacks are good so you can realize and learn from your mistakes but the universe has stuff planned for you at a certain time sometimes no you don't get what you manifested right away because sometimes you may have setbacks but you have you have setbacks and you can't control your setbacks sometimes you can't control your setbacks but you learn from it and it setbacks things that the universe may have planned for you that you had planned for yourself and now you have to set them back which setbacks a lot of other things maybe for the good um ne it's never for the worst it's always a learning lesson so yeah that's what the high priestess means for career wise the high priestess basically it can do I take it as two ways. You can trust um, your job, not trust your job, but trust your instinct that you have a job that's able to um, work in your favor and you know that you want this job and it's going to, the output for this job is everything that you wanted, everything that you manifested and you need to take this job right away. But it also can help you as, okay, do I need, I love this job, this job is amazing. But I really want to own my own business. I have, in the, I have the resources to start up my own business. Can I just jump um, jump ship and work on my business? Because, you know, I have everything. And if you have that gut feeling telling you, do it, do it, do it. Go ahead and do it. You may not want to leave your you may not want to leave your job or your career that you love so much but something deep down inside is telling you to run your own business be your own boss make your own money and you're just gonna leap on faith which is the fool and some other cards too but you're going to go out there start your own business have your own money have your own income for personal readings it's basically i ain't gonna say the same thing but 
in general trust your instinct trust your gut if you manifested a job and you think that job is right for you take it if you manifested a, a love life or a person that you want to see take it if you chose many different schools and you can't choose from one school from this school and this school trust that gut feeling like okay this 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 uh, but this has this and this even with a car trust your instincts or trust your gut feeling that okay this car is right for me i may want this car but let me get this car for right now and i'm going to continue to manifest my dream car or manifest this car because i know i can get this car but right now my gut is telling me to go with car a that's what that means for that now we're gonna get on to the next card the next card is the empress and this is the card i really 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 love the empress card i love the empress card like she's so she's so empress so basically the empress card means a attracting abundance fertility as well as creativity this card brings joy it brings a break i don't want to say a breakthrough but this card attracts things that you're you know that you're going to work through and you know you're going to get it so basically creativity more so um now this card is connected to fertility but i want to say if you pull this card, the Empress with cup cards, I want to say three of cups, page of cups, and something else, then, you know, it's a bun in your oven, okay? But for other than that, she means abundance, you know, having creativity. This is, the Empress shows that what you've manifested is already here. It's coming. It's coming. So, and it's not coming, oh, two years later. No, it's probably coming tomorrow, today, sometime this week. It's coming. That's what the Empress means. Um, in love, in a love reading, the Empress can mean pregnancy, fertility, if you're trying to have a family with somebody. But it also can mean that you are... It's also mean that you're taking your love life to a next level. But, you know, you're enjoying life you're enjoying yourself and you're taking time um with your family you're taking time with your friends and you're taking time to love yourself the empress also means like taking care of yourself like the empress loves to take care of other people around her as well as herself and that's key she takes care of herself just like she takes care of other people she might take care of herself more. well she take care of herself more then she take care of the people but other people that surrounds her she takes care of them she shows them love and i'm not saying like oh like somebody that takes care of somebody that's like older i'm talking about take care of people like um their family and friends they're spending i want to say spending time they're spending time with the people that they love their loved ones and you know they're showing them gratitude they're being friends they're being family how family and friends are supposed to be in a career when you see the empress in a career you're thriving in a career reading you're thriving your creativity is coming out the roof and your job that you have or your career that you have is allowing you to be creative in the way that you want to be creative not limiting your creative space no it's giving you the ability to be creative in your own creative way think outside the box in a way you want to think outside the box to box oh my gosh think outside the box and showing your creative aspects on life and you love your job you love your career because you're being creative in a personal reading um in a personal reading this can mean anything any and everything you're being creative with your life you're setting up your life to where you're manifesting and this is probably someone that that learned the law of attraction and just using it and you're supposed to that's what you're supposed to do but this is somebody that's using the law of attraction having fun with it enjoying life they know that it worked they manifesting things they're setting their attention they're going sky's the limit for them that's what it means in a personal reading 
now if it comes in reverse you know that you're you're caring too much for somebody and you're putting too much energy into that that's like that overprotective parent so it can be like a parent not letting their child decide what university they're going to they're saying oh you're going to duke university but that per that kid is like i don't want to go to duke university and that parent's like oh well i'm paying for it you're going here that's kind of what that basically is and that's also somebody that's like telling you that's putting their beliefs on you i'm not gonna say forcing you because that's the emperor but that's more so like somebody's like oh you should be this because you're supposed to be like it, it's wrong they're telling you right from wrong and it's like you like mm, maybe maybe i should like yeah you're kind of right like it's kind of like manipulation more so and that person you know it's not right it doesn't make you happy it doesn't show your creative side and it it's like something a part of you is missing and you know you just don't enjoy it but you put up with it you put up with it it's something that you put up with it if the empress come reverse and you're not taking care of yourself that i want you guys to understand that the empress means abundance fertility creativity as well if she means all those things but also it means self-care self-love taking time for yourself so also if she's coming up for coming up reverse that means somebody may not be taking care of their selves and putting their self first and they also may be putting other people first so you may be spending more time with um family or friends more than you're spending time with yourself more than you're trying to figure out yourself you may be showing somebody else praises and praises and love and not showing yourself self-love not taking care of your it may be hygiene not pampering yourself not taking care of yourself so you're going to take care of other people let pay for other people to get their nails done hair done pamper them before you pamper yourself and that's another reason why she'd become perverse All right, and last but not least for this part, because I want to break them up. So we're going to talk about the emperor. The emperor. Now, the emperor, you look at his face and you can see that he plays no games. He plays no games whatsoever. And basically, the emperor means somebody that's off of logic, stability, and like logic and stability, really. Like, if it's not logic to him, if you're not gonna have stability, if you're not gonna have a sought out plan, he don't want it. And that's basically what the emperor means. Somebody that uses their logic somebody that logic is implied to them and like i said this goes with astrology so the emperor is capricorn for sure and a little bit of leo but the empress is capricorn he plans out plans are his number one thing it has to make sense it has to be logical to him because if it's not logical he don't want it he ain't doing it and it has to be stable if you're not stable what are you doing like step away if somebody comes to the emperor and he knows that they're not stable out of there you're out of there so that's what um the emperor means now if you pull it in a love card basically you are and and the emperor also means taking control taking control of yourself taking control of your power not letting anybody tell you to do this like oh you do this oh you you need to you need to do this because you know you can do that or somebody saying you need to clean your house you need to clean your house but you know just give an example like okay you're not gonna tell me what to do i know i need to clean my house but i'm gonna clean my house when i want to clean my house you don't tell me when i need to clean my house i clean my house when i want to clean my house is the emperor so he takes back control of himself he doesn't let anybody tell him what to do he doesn't let anybody run over him because at the end of the day he know who he is and he gonna do what he want to do when he want to do so that's what the emperor means so in a love reading 
is taking i'm not gonna say taking control of the relationship but not letting other people men and women not letting other people dictate your relationship not letting other people tell you about your man or tell you about your woman significant other not telling you at all about them because you know you know your significant other so what other people say what other people say oh my god what other people say should not affect what is going on and you're that's you taking back control you also um it also shows the stability in a relationship you're becoming stable um what else yeah you're becoming stable in a relationship you the relationship the person that you're going with can be let's see because I don't want to say it's logical for y'all to go out because, you know, it's very logical. No, it's not like that. The relationship is, mm -hmm. and the love reading is kind of, I'm not going to say it's kind of tricky. But, you know, you and your partner are very stable. Y'all in a stable relationship. Y'all elevating slowly but surely. And y'all not letting anybody tell you what should go on in your relationship you not you're not saying oh well he doesn't do this for you my man does this for me i think he should do that for you you're not letting that happen or vice versa in a career in a career reading the emperor means that you have control over your career you have control over your job you have control over you and what you want to do um most of the time the emperor for a career is basically somebody that does not have a boss they have a boss but it's like they're free to do their own thing if if that makes sense i'm i'm sorry if that like you have a boss but you you answer to your boss but you don't answer to your boss like your boss doesn't give you commands you have about like postmates like you have a boss which is postmates but you know you choose which houses you want to go to they don't tell you what houses to go to that's basically what the emperor is um yeah so basically you're setting for careers you're setting goals for yourself you know you're not you're doing you're doing what you do you're using your powers to be like okay this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna set this goal and i'm gonna get this goal here um for a career we're gonna make it we're gonna start off right here and we're gonna end this month off with fifty thousand dollars or we're gonna start with ten thousand and by the end of this month we should have thirty thousand basically that's what it means in um a career setting so you're setting goals for yourself and you're also not letting people tell you what to do if that makes sense like you have to listen to your boss but you're not letting outside influences influencing your answers or questions because you know who you are as a person and you know what you want and you know what you want out of career so somebody coming in and telling you that you should do it this way is like uh uh no back up i have a plan i have set goals i know what i need to do so don't come in here and tell me what i need to do i have a plan all planned out okay that's what that means for a career for personal readings personal readings basically Personal readings basically you're somebody that is setting goals, um, knowing what they want to do. This is a person that has a weekly goal, somebody that has a monthly goal, somebody that is very organized, has a agenda or a um what's that called? A calendar that's filled like with you know, with words. Of course it's filled with words. What is it called? A to say a binder it's, it's kind of like a, a planner a planner somebody that has a planner and they plan everything out oh my gosh my nose <sighs> there's somebody that plans everything out and they have reason for what they do so say if they want to manifest Say somebody say, okay, you know what? I'm a manifest. I'll manifest a car for 2020. Yeah, we're gonna say I'm gonna manifest my car for 2020. 
so they put their manifestation out there they set intentions out there and now it's like okay this is what i have to do this is how much i have to make i have to work this amount of hours to receive this amount of pay and in january and july of 2020 i can go to the lot and get my jeep or i can go to the lot and get my bmw they have set plans set goals they know what to do and they think about it logically now sometimes if somebody say okay you know what i'm gonna manifest ten thousand dollars and i'm gonna get it the next day an uh, empress won't do that that's something that they won't do logically like no they won't do that but it's somebody manifesting something believing in that manifestation set intentions into that manifestation and actually going out and setting up plans or doing or planning out their day to switch their mindset to get to what their manifestation goal is that's what an emperor is now you may have noted well you may have understand that the empress in reverse is somebody that's letting somebody tell them what to do somebody that is letting somebody take over their power letting somebody belittle them or tell them what to do instead of you taking back your power and telling them like no i know what to do like i know what i want for myself i know my goals i know my intentions i know what goals i'm going to that's what an empress is so when it's in reverse it's somebody's like okay well i know that it's my goal but they're telling me that i have to do this to reach my goal so okay well yeah i'm gonna listen to them i'm gonna do it their way so i can reach my goal that doesn't work like that that doesn't even sound right like you're gonna do it their way so you can reach your goal like no and <clears throat> that can be you blocking yourself you not trusting in yourself or you're not sticking to your goals that you say that you was going to do or you're not sticking to something that is logic or reasonable or even setting goals for yourself if you know you want to learn tarot cards and you want to get better at tarot but you know you're not reading your books you're not studying the tarot cards you're not picking up a tarot deck every day that's you holding yourself back that's why the empress is reversed or it's somebody else saying okay you know what um you want to learn tarot i'm gonna teach you tarot and they teach you tarot but they teach it to you their way okay this is what i think this means you know i get the intentions of this i get the readings of this and it's like no that person gets the readings. that person is um connected to their guys and that person getting their intentions from that but you have your own set of intentions you're not getting your intentions off that because you may think you may feel or your intentions may be different from that card but since they're teaching you and they're teaching you their way and all they know is their way you're going to learn off of their way so that's what the card means and the empress means and the emperor means in reverse so that was the cards zero to zero through four but you know it was five cards so one through five but i'm gonna start saying zero through four because that is the cards and that is the part one third of the major arcana and we're going to get into the rest um in the next video so make sure you guys like this video comment below on what you've learned did this help you are you more interested in learning about tarot even more diving into it also put down books below or videos below that you may watch that got you interested in tarot and make sure you follow me on all of my social medias in the description below and you know just conversate with me have fun let's talk about why you've gotten into tarot or how tarot has helped you in the future or now or in the past because some people don't work with tarot anymore but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like it, share it with your family and friends. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.